sure you... Toby, Toby, look at the camera. She says, please put me down, Sophie. Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing my April favourites. Um, got a little special guest here. Um, if you don't know, this is Toby, our little Yorkshire Terrier. I say little, he's fairly big for a Yorkie. Um, but yeah, I think he's just going to sit here while I do the video potentially. I've got a few things to show you this month, um, not a whole lot but I thought I would do this video anyway because um, some of this stuff I haven't necessarily shown in the haul or you'll be seeing an upcoming haul anyway um, so I thought I would show them now. But first I'll start with books things like that. So my first favourite this month is a book and that's Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty. Um, I have recorded a book review so if that is up I will link it below. Um, but I really enjoyed this book, it's very sort of suspense, um, but at the same time it's that typical um, school um, setting and I just found it really interesting and gripping to read. There's this secret that's going on um, in this mum's circle and um, there is a death that you know and the book is trying to like go through and figure out who um, killed this person and who actually died um, so yeah I'll link that review below I really recommend you check it out because this was a really good book the next thing is makeup I've got two favourites this month the first is a nail polish and that's what I'm wearing right now and this is by Jack Wills I believe my mum got this for me for Christmas in a pack of two and boots but basically it's just a really light pink if you can see that I mean, my nails are pretty chipped, so they don't look too closely. But, um, yeah, just a really light pink colour, and it's just been really nice to wear for work. Um, obviously, I've changed work now, and um, visit a lot for elderly and things like that, so I want something simple, classic, and it just this is really nice to apply as well. And then the other makeup item I think I've shown before, and it's from Accessorize, and it's one of their mineralized blushes. This is in number three is pretty pink not sure if they do this anymore accessorized do still carry makeup this is the only thing i've ever bought for them it's just a really light pink color um and it's pretty shimmery so if you don't like shimmery blushes probably one to avoid um but yeah it's just very nice if you've got light skin like me it's very sort of um, easy to apply, you don't have to worry about putting too much on so the next favorite this month is being a food item um my boyfriend is on the Slimming World plan, um, which is like a dieting plan. And overall, we've just been eating a lot healthier, or trying to. He's doing better than I am. Um, and like going to the gym, which I'll mention more in a minute. But obviously, he's been getting a lot of um, food from Slimming World, including like little bars that he can snack on. And um, he bought home these, and I love them. I also really like the toffee apple popcorn ones I think they are but these are probably my favourite these are the Hi-Fi Light Bars by Slimming World um, and they're basically just they're the double chocolate crisp and um, they've got raisins and chocolate in them and they're three cents per bar but it makes you feel a little bit better that maybe it's a bit healthier than just getting like a Cadbury's chocolate bar um, so that's that and he picks me up a box of those every week when he goes I don't know where else you could get these except for like at your local Slimming World um, I've never seen them actually in shops before so if you know anywhere else you can get those let me know down below so like I said we've been going to the gym a lot this month and we actually bought gym memberships um, obviously Dan's trying to lose weight and I said I'd go along with him mostly for like motivational support for him but also just for me to be a bit more fit and healthy um, so I've got a few gym favourites the first being this little pouch from Kath Kidston um, I could do a whole video on these pouches and what you could use them for but I like to take this one to the gym um, and in it we just keep our gym cards and I keep my headphones in there um, and then I can put my keys in there when I'm working out and if there's anything else I want to put in there like a hairband or a lip balm I can do and then this sort of can just sit on the treadmill um, or whatever I'm doing and uh, just helps keep everything together so I don't have to put stuff in a locker um, but I've got like all my essentials in here so I'll move on to like the gym clothes that I've been um, enjoying I wanted to get some sort of gym clothes because I knew we'd been going quite a lot um, but I didn't want to spend a ton of money so the first thing is 
one of the most expensive things I got, but I'm really glad I got it, um, is this um, top from m &S. it's part of their like active sportwear collection. And it's just a black simple top with this, this like geometric prints down the side. The, at the back at the top it's a little bit mesh, so it's all very breathable. You've got the little um, hold to put your headphones through, but I don't tend to use that much. Um, and I just find it really nice and breathable. I like that it's got sleeves. Um, I like that when I'm working out. Um, and it doesn't like sort of stick to you too much. So that was that, and I believe that was probably like... 20 pounds I want to say I'm not quite sure and the other thing I got from M&S was a sports bra and this has like revolutionized my gym lifestyle um, when I went to the gym like a couple of years back I never invested in a sports bra um, but like I don't know how I could have gone without this now if you find looking at bras awkward then turn away I mean it's a sports bra so it's not like anything ludicrous but um, yeah, it's, it looks like this. It's from m and Oh, um, well, they're quite actually hard to show you. Um, let's see. So it's just like this um, grey, um, really soft material. Um, it's got a little bit of padding in it, which I like, um, but it is extremely supportive. It doesn't have underwire, which was something I was concerned about, um, being sort of of a larger bust, but it's actually you feel really secure and I think that's partly down to like the um, straps at the back they're really nice and thick um, and yeah I just find it's really supportive um, I don't know if this is like the most comfortable sports bra I find it really comfortable um, sometimes it will rub a little bit under my arms um, but like I said for a first sports bra I'm really pleased with it um, it seems to be holding up fairly well um, it just um, unzips at the front like that and I got it in a 32D um, which is pretty much my normal size and usually a 30 so yeah I find they're pretty true to size and I would recommend going to like M&S or somewhere like that um, like Victoria's Secret anywhere that does specific cup sizes for sports bras just because at the end of the day it still is a bra and you want something to support you so yeah and then the final thing is a pair of shorts. I think I got these from Sports Direct. So these are um, Adidas shorts. Um, I wanted like a short more than I wanted something really skin tight like legging material um, so I could breathe and move easily. Um, I like this one because the shorts are flowy. Um, yeah underneath, I don't know if you can see, they've got this like um, other layer that will like grip on you more um, so A I don't have to worry about having VPL lines if like I wore leggings or something like that but they're just like really cute with the pop of colour um, they're pink all inside um, and yeah I just find them really nice to um, especially run in the only thing is they don't have a pocket which I would like a little pocket in them but I think they were fairly reasonable price um, and I think they're in the sale so I'm really pleased with those. So the final thing I have to physically show you is the bag that I've been using for most of this month. Um, it was my last piece that I bought from Kath Kidston. And it is this mini turn lock bag in the colour denim. Um, I ordered it over the phone but I believe you can order it online now. I just love this. Um, if you saw my update video you know I used to actually work for Kath Kidston before I swapped jobs. Um, but yeah, so this was about... I think it was like £45, but they were having a, um, there was like a promotion code, so I think it was about £40, um, and it's just a little turn lock, and you open it up, and I've got stuffing in it at the moment, just so it keeps its shape a little bit better, um, and it's sort of cotton on the side, on the inside, and then oil cloth on the outside, so it's really nice like when it rains, um, and you can just sort of wipe clean, um, and yeah, it's a little bit too small as like a work bag but if like if you're going out shopping or going out for the day um, and you don't need to carry a ton of stuff this is a really good size bag um, I can see a little bit of wear on it like getting dirty um, but yeah um, I haven't experimented with trying to clean um, my bag yet so we'll see how that goes and it also has the long strap which was probably the selling point for me because I love a crossbody strap but you can also use it as a short handle and make it a little bit more dressier and take it out overnight. So the final things I want to touch you about are sort of TV and film 
on TV. At the start of the month, I was watching a ton of The Walking Dead on Amazon, um, especially when I was going to the gym and things like that. I'm really sort of trying to catch up on it because I'm on, I think, season th end of season three or start of season four, I think. Um, so I'm trying to catch up with it. Um, but I haven't really been watching it towards the end of the month, but I thought I'd still mention it because I was watching it a ton at the start of the month. And then, um, me and my boyfriend have also been going to the cinema quite a bit. He's got the new Odeon Limitless cards, which you can go and as much as you want in the month or something. So we went and saw The Jungle Book, which it was okay if you like The Jungle Book. Um, I've never really been a big fan of it, so I didn't enjoy it as much as he did. And then the next film we saw was Eddie the Eagle, which is about the British um, Olympian who went to the Winter Olympics um, and represented us in the ski jump. And I was a bit like, mm, it's a bit sort of like, you hear about it in the 80s and stuff like that. And I didn't really think I was going to like it, but it was actually really good and pretty like inspirational. So yeah, I think that's all I've got to show you today. Like I said, it was only a little short favourites video, but I thought I would show you anyway um, what I've been enjoying this month. And yeah, so I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.